I've heard people ask the question before, who created God? Or what came before God? And in a way, it's understandable why people would ask this question, because if you refer back to the video that I made talking about the dimensions in which we exist, angels exist, and God exists, we only understand things from a, a, a small perspective, dimensionally. And our perspective of beginning and end is linear. Whenever you read the Bible and it kind of starts to show you how God thinks, even though we can't ever fully understand it, but we can learn a little bit about it, we obviously realize that God does not see time on a linear scale the same way we do. So, as far as, you know, what came before God or, you know, what created God, people need to understand God is outside of that realm of understanding. You see, everything has to take up space. Everything has, as far as in our existence, um, everything has, you know, a time. And everything is made up of, you know, of some kind of matter, of some sort. When you think about it, it's obvious that God is outside of those things because he created those things. Our dimensional laws of physics. The Bible says in the beginning there's time. God created the heavens. There's space. And I'm not talking about, you know, space up in the sky, but at the same time it does refer to that in the Bible as the heavens and the earth. And there is matter. So while none of those things can exist apart from each other, it's obvious that God, in his creation, created all three of those at the same time. So, essentially, before the creation event, there was no such thing as time, space, or matter. We are to understand, as I said, that God exists outside of our physical limitations in our dimension, in the in the in the in the physical plane that we live in, I guess would be the easiest way to to describe that. You know, there are other religions that try to view that differently, and I don't even want to say religions, cults, I guess you could say. Um, if you look at, like, the Mormons, they believe, I believe it's the Mormons anyways, um, they believe that there are many gods and tiers of different beings and one of the things that they believe is that god was a man essentially a living being on a different planet and was so righteous that he was put in the position of god over his own portion of the universe or this portion of a multiverse the thing is, is it, it doesn't answer any questions. It actually raises more questions without answering a single one. If we understand God as he is presented to us in the Bible, he is outside of all of those things. And so answering a simple question as saying, you know, who created God or when did God come into being, it's outside of our understanding. It's something you're not going to be able to understand. I don't care if you spend your whole life trying to decipher where did God come from. You're not going to find that answer because it's not within the realm of the physics that we live in or the dimension that we live in. It's just not there. There's no way that we can understand it. it I, I wanted to make this video in a way just to just to give you guys an answer that way if if somebody comes up and asks that kind of a question because I've had people ask me that kind of a question and before I had really you know bothered to look to the Bible for an answer for that I tried to come up with my own answers and and really whenever you try to use our physics to explain God it's a never-ending loop. It just keeps doubling back on itself over and over again. And so, 
it's more beneficial if you look at it in a biblical standpoint. It's always good to answer any question regarding God or, you know, the spirit realm, anything like that. Answer it with the Bible. Don't try to go to other texts because all the other texts are written by man and not God-inspired. You can't go to Hinduism and understand spiritual nature. You just can't. God's the only one that just, that truly describes it. The other ones, the other religions that you'll see out there are essentially passed down knowledge from fallen angels and they're not going to give you the the correct explanation. They want you to be deceived. So they'll allow you to feel like you're some kind of ethereal awakened being that has understanding about the world and about the spiritual world and and really you'll just been lied to the whole time but if that helps you guys that's cool if not i don't know why it was just kind of on me and i was like i guess i'm gonna have to sit down and make a video about it because it's not leaving my head but i hope that does at least answer a question and help you guys in some kind of way and uh you know if somebody asks you that question just just remember god is outside of our understanding we wouldn't we probably would not worship the same god if you believe that god is within our realms of physics i can say that confidently because the god that that i worship yahweh that i understand is 100% outside of our realm of understanding so thanks you guys and i'll see y'all later